PG bloggers. PG bloggers. The PG bloggers. PG bloggers. The PG bloggers. PG bloggers. PG bloggers. PG bloggers. The PG bloggers, man. PG go with the PG bloggers. Please don't say the John. Please say it twice. If you don't have the time, ain't saying it right. I mean, you didn't get the greatest response, you know, against Mook. Yeah, it's our madness. It was terrible. Two thousand yeah. people. Yeah. So were you like ske Is that really why you wanted like a small room battle? Because you were skeptical, like I don't know how the crowd's gonna, you know, receive me if I come back and I'm on a star madness or a gnome. Yeah, or I mean that's definitely part of it. You know, like I I think, um, I put myself up with Mook and Lux and Hollow as one of the great one of the one of the somebody who's a really good career strategist. I've made good choices along the way, except for one really, a couple really bad choices. Um, but that's part of the idea is like, look, they don't know me. And, and I think what I did wrong last time was watching battles online for the first time in years and seeing people say punchlines again, run it back, repeat people's slogans. And because I didn't totally know who everybody was, I was like, damn, the crowd is so into it and so positive and they just really like fuck with this like yeah. yo i'm gonna go in there and it's gonna be crazy not knowing like oh well these guys are actually these guys have been in it for a couple of years they know these yeah. people they fuck with these people there's 18 year olds that never heard of me don't know who i am because mm -hmm. i haven't been here and so just you know m me not doing me not making the mistake that a lot of other people from my um who've been in the game as long as me and who have at some point been at a certain level the mistake they make is assuming that you're always that person you know what i mean and so for me it was like let you know let me earn being this person again instead of coming here and be within my ego like oh i need x amount of money you know they don't know if i'm gonna be a draw like um i need this name does that you know like do they really want to go against me is that a good battle for them um i need to be in this position on this card it's like you know I just start from the bottom, man. Let me reintroduce myself. You know what I mean? Right. And and feeling like, I like the most disappointing thing about the move battle to me, beyond me taking a huge L, was like just that moment. Like, mm -hmm. yo, Iron Solomon versus Murder Mook is supposed to be one of the ones yeah. that we fucking yeah. like. You know, it's yeah. supposed to add to the when when you are like, yo, some of the best battles of all time, going back to Busy B or whatever the fuck, like. To me, I was like, damn, son, like, this battle, this storyline, been brewing for mad long, we both those dudes, like, this is supposed to be greatness right here, and it's just garbage, like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? So, so for me, now, it's more about making sure that the moment goes well, and it's not about a win or a loss, it's like, I just want to, I want these ones, you know, I want this, like... Yo, you gotta watch. You gotta watch Lux in the gray hoodie. You gotta watch Solomon and Nitty. You got, you know what right. I mean? Like, that's what I want to do every time. So it was definitely just strategy to make sure it went well. You right. know what I mean? So you mentioned you and Nitty. I, I assume you just because that's your battle. You feel like that was battle of the year. Right? Um, I mean, because there's gonna be people, be people that argue on you said yeah, on URL totally, totally. that it's it's a debatable sport it is what it is of course yeah yeah there's gonna be, be people that you know argue hollow and tay rock might have been the best battle sure. of the year yeah, you're yeah. all wise now what would your argument be towards you and nitty if, if someone tried to yeah, debate yeah. you and you said well this is how i feel yeah like yeah. what would you say i mean you know i tay rock and hollow was dope it was definitely one of the better a lot of those headliner events are are, are weak you know what i mean right. like to me personally um, Hollow and Clips didn't quite live up to what it what it really could be. People would agree. You yeah. know, uh, Lux and Clips like is kind of awkward and whack to yeah. me. Like it's just a little weird and, and doesn't feel like great. Hmm. Um, I feel like Hollow and Tay Rock lived up to a degree of like being almost as good as yeah. you know. And there were classic moments. There were really classic yeah. moments. Yeah. I think that you know I think Tay Rock was like at his best or, or like close and he had some of the biggest moments I've, I've personally felt like Hollow's writing and his stage presence were not as good as the best Hollow like some of his writing was just kind of like weak to me and maybe it's maybe it was he deliberately was watering stuff down for the big stage but I just felt like 
lyrically it was kind of boo boo of some a good yeah. amount of it. Not that there wasn't crazy shit in there. Yeah. And conceptually is fire right. and the shit in the third round when he's like, Yo, we don't need you, you could leave. Like right. all that shit is fire. Yeah. But there was just some stuff that was a little like, ah, like felt out of touch or just felt like too much of a too much of a deliberate main stage show mm -hmm. and not enough of like this. You know what I mean? Um yeah, that that would be my criticism of that battle. It was still incredible, and um, you know, I think again, it's just it's subjective, so I wouldn't be like, nah, nah, my shit battle of the year. Yeah. But the feedback that I've seen online is yeah. is is more that it is, and I think the thing that's so exciting about it, there's definitely an element of the expectations. People just writing me off in the battle completely, and right. then writing the battle off itself completely. I was one of those people. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what like, I mean? But yeah. And I think when you overcome expectations, there's more of an impact. Um, I think somebody coming from the lineage I come from and battling a rum nitty, which these other, you know, the Lux, Hollow, Mook aren't really doing, um, it being the beginning of a new series, that's a return to the mm -hmm. smack The days. second one's looking crazy already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, to me, all of those things contribute to a moment that's like, not like the whole world's going to change, but some things are going to be a little different after this. You know what I mean? Smack volume series is going to be solidified and you're going to have the top names wanting to be in that room. And uh, I just think it's more of a culture shifter and more of a like, you got to watch this battle and, and take notes. You know what I mean? And I think Hollow and Tay Rock is, um, you know, the pinnacle of what Summer Madness, Madness headlining type battles could and should be. But... It's Summer Madness, like, 7 or whatever it is. Yeah. And this is Smack Volume 1. You know what I mean? So, so, do we, so I'm, I'm assuming... I mean, would you rather see Surf and Mook over Surf and Nitty? It's, it's, oh, man. That's a tough one. Um, that's a tough one, man. I would, I would like to see Mook, period, just because I'm interested. Because I know that he's... See him come back. Yeah, he, I know that he's a genius, he's and I know years. that he's under pressure. And it's just like, you just want to see it because it's like the unknown. You know what right. I mean? But... I also, you know, am rooting for Nitty in general, and I think that would be dope. You know what I mean? I want Nitty to get that battle. I think for, I think for, I think people are gonna may personally want Mook versus um, Surf, and I guess that that's really good for Surf. Right. Also, but I feel like for the progression of the culture, From Nitty. probably Surf versus Nitty is like more important for the growth of the culture because we need more kings. You know right. what I mean? And, I think and Nitty he, he, deserves it. Yeah, I'll cut you off, but yeah. like, uh, Surf, I mean, I, I heard he, before he went, he wanted chess. I right. mean, I don't think he wants chess no longer right now. Chess got to yeah, kind of yeah, work yeah. his way back up. Yeah. But I just think it's so dope that like you, Surf, uh, even Rock, like uh, Rock yo. battled Nitty, Rock battled Briz when he was coming up. I think it's so dope that you guys want to take these guys that are coming up yeah. to kind of move the culture forward because a lot of these guys don't want to. Yeah. A lot of these guys are just like, eh, that's well, scary. We're, 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 yeah, yeah. I want the check to be right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean? they're mitigating risk. You know, it's risk to reward. Yeah, I think, a lot it's, of times. Yeah, it's it's a shame, but I mean, that's just how it goes. I understand, like you have your your status, and and at at some point, you you know your worth. Yeah, and I get that, but at the same time, you want to move the culture forward. Totally. But, yeah. I mean, I think you know this is this is like some game for upcoming people is like. Um, a lot of the guys who are strategic like that came into this at a point when there wasn't money in it and right. they were and they either were looking at it as a platform or something else or they had other hustles that were their source of income and this was a, a passion thing and now there's money in it so they you know hollow's a hustler we know he we know he and I, i'm not saying like street shit but just somebody that knows how to take care of himself and get money from different a avenues yeah. uh mook is too Right. Um, Rex is too, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't really speak to Lux just because I don't really know him personally like that. But, you know, I know for myself, I literally can't afford to be selective with my battles. And I think now that it's become an industry where people get into it, like, yo, I'm going to make it, you know, I'm going to get money off these battles. And like, that's my goal. It puts them in a position where it's like, they got to battle so-and-so next week or they're not going to make rent. You know what I mean? And so in a certain way, it it leaves less room for the for the king making because you have to prioritize 
the light bill over right. I mean, light bars. You know right. I mean? so we've seen, I mean, DNA, he's, I mean, he, he arguably, he, he doesn't really clearly lose battles. And he's he battled really 30 million times a year. He's incredible. I, I respect, yeah. I respect, I put a tweet out on a little while ago saying that him, and I had to amend it because it's really him, Cortez, Tay Rock, and I think Thesaurus, who are the pinnacle of I'll battle anybody on any tier. It doesn't really be like they'll they'll they want that smoke no matter what, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think really DNA, um, Cortez and Thesaurus, Tay Rock is a little more selective, but he still is like like go from chest to hollow, like he don't right. care, you know what I mean? Right. And I <clears throat> I respect that like crazy. I mean that's that's real confidence dedication and then on top of it dna is like taking care of his whole family financially so so for him to like most rappers when they show up for the check like you can see you know what i mean dna just shows up like every time you never like same thing like i said cortez thesaurus tay rock dna um you don't ever get like a half-ass performance from them you might see something that you're like ah that wasn't their best but they it's not because they were like i don't care it's for a check you know, they still came and, and tried to do really fucking well. And sometimes you come up with shit that you think is dope and it's just not that dope. You know what I mean? Right. I think I think having the art of freestyle helps a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DNA, you definitely, know what I mean? Definitely. I yeah. mean, I, I know he's still writing for every battle, but I'm just, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Freestyle totally. helps a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, but another person who kind of took more battles last year than he needed to, and he was... To me, he was battle of the year up till that point was JC. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, he took some battles that... Um, didn't really he didn't really need to like the twerk battle or the the tea time battle he didn't really... I got at least like I got like 20 more battles in me at least man like I, nice. I like I'm dead ass like anybody that I really am a fan of and think is fire like I, I'm trying to get to a certain point status wise and right now at this moment I'm gonna be very strategic and you know careful with my steps but once I feel like I, I get the goals that I came back to hit once I hit those marks um, I'm coming back for everybody. You know so, I mean? so the energy's there for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if, okay. like, like, I'm coming back. You know, everybody. Um, JC definitely super fire. His, uh, yeah, I like him a lot. I think he's really dope. I think um, I agree with you that he probably, you know, I don't, I, I don't know him um, at all. Really, we met one time. And hung out for a little bit, and he seems like a cool dude. I couldn't, I couldn't speak to if it's a financial thing or he just, you know, if it's an ego thing. He just thinks he got it like that, or if it's a, um, I don't know. I couldn't speak to what it is, but I, I, I agree that he got to a certain point and was just like, he's just gonna keep going, and could have taken a step back and been a little more strategic. Like, yeah. Were you on that wave of people saying that he and Luck should happen? Or were you on that? Um, I wasn't in the moment, but the more that I've like gone back and studied like his greatest shit, um, the more I was like, okay, like I see where this could be really dope, you know? Because I think like where he's different from Lux is that sometimes his, um, you know, he's a little more like angled and subject matter. His subject matter is a little more diverse than like a Nitty or an Av or something like that, or a B Magic. But but I still th- I still think from like a con- like overall concept or angle or strategy, he's not where Lux is. Where you know what I mean? He's not like quite like a Lux or a Hollow or a Moop, where it's like, how are they going to approach this? So in the moment, I was kind of like, yeah, like people just want to see Lux battle and like this guy's pent writing is crazy, but I didn't feel like he was quite at that. But that doesn't mean that it's not, I mean, me and Nitty, you know, Nitty um, just punched his way through angles. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, I think it would be fire. I mean, I think any, you know, again, like I, I want to see Lux and I think we need more Kings. You know what I mean? We need more guys that are dope. Um, to get that spot and I and like in battle rap it's hard to get there without having like a resume you know what I mean we look we kind of have a like you got to beat the champ to be the champ type of thing in battle rap you know so and you mentioned your angles I feel like I feel like you're a really angle based battler like a very well that angle based excuse me uh, based battler do you, do you feel like you're underrated in that aspect 
Um, I, I feel like you are, but... Word, thank you. You know what I mean? I don't know, you know, I, I have, you know, I'm just getting back into, like, I never was big in social media, period. Right. Um, people on my, like, team, when I was really, like, doing music, would have to be like, yo, like, you gotta tweet, this video just came out, like, you gotta do something. Yeah. I just recently got back into it to start to, like, see the feedback, so I'm a little bit out of touch sometimes and where, and I, and I underestimate where, where people put me because... You know, it's like I was burned pretty bad on the stove, so I'm a little like iffy on the kitchen, and so I don't always like. I walk into rooms not really knowing how what the temperature is gonna be. Sometimes be like, you know, go to King of the Dot and be my first time back and be like, you know, do, are people gonna even embrace me or is it like, am I out? You know what I mean? I'm out of the club. And then same thing with URL. It's like I don't know. You know, I, if I haven't been coming to these events for years, like where do I fit in? So I don't really know. I mean, I think uh, we'll see when, you know, when the nitty battle comes out. I think that's like the best example of me and, and what I can do in all the different chambers. I think the nitty battle is probably one of my, my best like representations of what I, what I can bring to the table. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. I really don't know where they rate me or rank me. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So and I, I don't, and I don't think they've been rating me or ranking me for a while. So I think yeah. like, I'm hoping that I hope that the nitty battle also shines work on the last shines light on the last two years of work because right. there are things about the nitty battle that I did just as great in other battles as I right. did in the nitty battle. Um, not like that the whole moment and the whole thing was, you know, I, if nitty battle felt like it was really all there, but there are definitely things about the B Magic battle that oh yeah, yeah just that, as good. I was, I was watching that the other day, man. That's a classic. Yeah, you thank brought you, you brought out a, a great B Magic. I love you that. That I mean? made me so happy because yeah. he was one of the ones that I was like, I need a feature, man. Like, yeah. you know, I just yeah. love B Magic. He's yeah. fired me. You know? he, had like, the, he had one of the craziest name flips I ever heard. Yeah, That's the solo which one? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that the, was incredible. That, that one was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now you mentioned status. Yeah. Um, now, everyone. I mean, if you're a battle rap fan you've been here for a while you're a legend now Thank do you feel like as a legend do you feel like you get the respect you deserve um i mean yes and no you know i think that like i said like like we we like to we're very cannibalistic in hip-hop you know what i mean and in battle rap especially we like to eat our own and so i think for a lot of years people have been shoveling the shit on me like pretty heavy after the mook battle um but at the same time, you know, I meet a lot of people that like flip out, lose their shit to meet me or, or, you know, say that I'm a legend and like, you know, I'm, um, you know, I'm such a fan of hip hop in general that like, um, it's just weird to be kind of like at this point where like, you know, I feel like I've been like 22 for the last like. 15 years but I'm, yeah. and I'm actually like 35 so like all of a sudden I went from being like oh man like I'm just like a kid perpetual child mm. and now like all of a sudden I'm like a adult and I'm people are saying that you know I'm like been in this culture for 20 years and it's crazy so mm. um you know I think I understand the way that the culture is and if I don't think I get the respect that I deserve it's up to me to change that. You know what I mean? So I would never complain about it. I mean, that's not true. I'm sure I would complain. I'm sure I have complained about it. I'm sure I have complained about it. And there, and there are times like right after the nitty battle where I was like, yo, I'm going to fucking big myself up because this feels like a moment where I should be explaining to people watching like really my role in this. And like, you know, there are times where I have these thoughts about, you know, what I've done and, and like if I see somebody trying to discredit me, I'd be like, son, you don't realize that I did this? Yo, I did that. Matter of fact, I don't get enough recognition for that either. Right. Um, so, you know, I think there are pieces missing, but I'm I'm back to that's why I came back, you know, to remind people to or to or to do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs>